Hey, Shalom. All praise is glory and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone that rule well through the scriptures, through the spirit. Peace to the hopeful elect and uh, peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. Yeah, I'm just do this another video on health uh, real quick. I'm going to read this. It says, recent studies of historical nutrient content data for fruits and vegetables spanning 50 spanning 50 to 70 years show apparent median declines of 5% to 40% or more in minerals, vitamins, and protein in groups of foods, especially in vegetables. And this was February 1st, 2009. So you're talking about uh, 15 years ago. So how much more now? All right. How much more now? That could that could be up to 65 percent, 80 percent. Right. So a lot of people be going vegan and uh, vegetarian diets and all of that. Well, that don't work either because you don't have the, the, the sufficient amount of minerals, vitamins and protein. Now, I was watching a, um, an article. I'm going to grab the scripture real quick. I was watching an article. I was watching a documentary. Um, maybe last year, maybe two years ago, but it said something to the effect of it showed you how in the 50s and 40s, right, there was nobody fat for real. You might have had people slightly bigger, but they just showed just people walking up and down the street when nobody fat, when nobody obese. And they was talking about how people in the 50s and 40s, they didn't have the best diets, you know, a lot of they, uh, people was, uh, uh, Smoking cigarettes, eating donuts, drinking. You know, people didn't have the, the best of diets. All right. But when they did eat, but um, uh, pardon me, but it says something to the effect that one apple in that time period, one apple had the same nutrition as seven apples today. So how many people eat? How many people eat seven apples in a week? let alone seven apples e equaling one apple from that time period. So this is uh, Ezekiel 4. And uh, uh, Ezekiel 4 and 13. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, who are the Gentiles, the heathen, whither I will drive them. So amongst these heathen, our bread, our food, our substance is defiled. Now, let me look up that word defiled. And the, the extent gets greater and greater as time passes. Let me see. To my unclean, impure, ethically and religiously, ritually of places right. And they don't do it to the proper standard. Look at this. What is the main reason for decreasing nutrients of fruits and vegetables? Most plant crops are produced with the aid of fertilized soils. High use of nitrogen fertilizers tends to reduce the vitamin C content in many fruit and vegetable uh, crops, right? So, ethically and religiously unclean and impure. The practices that this devil, the man in power, that he implement to forward, you know, anything, it, it just be wrong. They'll say, "Oh well, the bugs, the bugs eat it." So, what we gonna do is we gonna genetically modify it, where it produce a chemical that kill the bug when it eat it. When all you had to do was probably get, get, get some cayenne pepper and put it in some water and, and spray around the plant. There's other different methods. There's other different methods that work in tandem with nature. All right. Instead of working against nature. But this man, because he has he, he is of Cain. He is of the spirit of Cain. All right. 
He's cursed from the earth. There's a beef between Esau, Edom, and the earth. There's a straight up beef. I'm going to read. Uh, I want to read it in a, in a few scripts, uh, different versions, just to see what it say. Genesis 4 and 11. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. So you curse from the earth. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Bible comparison. So now you are cursed, alienated from the ground that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood. You have shit. Yeah, you're alienated from the ground. You're separated from the ground. All these other nations are connected to the ground with the Israelites being uh, dominant in that. Right. That's why you have is so much racism in so-called black farming. You're right. Uh, I've seen the documentary. They just uh, this man, uh, this man, he uh, basically taught his children how to farm and his children grew some of the best uh, products. You know, so-called black families grew some of the uh, best fruits and vegetables, big, organic. And the government straight up uh, uh, confiscated their land and somehow just straight up took, took it from them. But all these nations, you go, they got, they got their different herbs. You know, the East Indians, they got the Ayurvedic, uh, however you say it, with the, with the ashwagandha and the, uh, the, the haritaki and the uh, shatavari. You know, that, the East Indians. Then you got the, uh, uh, the Asians. Hell, you got the Africans. They work with the earth, okay? But you're alienated from the ground. Foreign. You're foreign or separated from these natural concepts which we're supposed to uh, instill properly. All right? You kill it. All right? NLT. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground which has swallowed your brother's blood. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground which opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Right? So, uh, that leads to, uh, and then you try to take supplements and, and then he defiles the supplements. They came out with a study recently that 80% of the supplements and nutrients and vitamins that you buy from places like Walmart, right? Or, or, uh, 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 you know, places where you shouldn't be buying supplements at grocery stores and little department stores. They say 80% of that is just sand. So you got to remember who run all of this Amalek and he, the, he's the king of stretching. He going to, he going to stretch it. He, he, he'll, he'll uh, force blood out of a nickel. He, he, with the meat industry, you think you're buying ground beef. One, one, one pound of ground beef might contain animals from Europe. All right. Might contain horses, might contain animals that died sick. So that's what you, that's what we're dealing with. Now, ultimately, faith is is the key to everything, because you could do the best you can. You got to do the best you can. It's like a balance with it. You can't. On one end, you can't, well, everything fucked up anyway, so I'm just going to blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm just going to drink faucet water. I'm just going to uh, 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 eat Burger King. And, now, if you ain't got nothing to drink, uh, eat McDonald's. But but if you ain't got nothing to drink and that all you got is faucet water, okay, well, that's where faith, you know, all right, faith kick in. Look, that's all I got. The Lord can purify it. If you, he can purify the water, you know? But effort got to be made. Efforts got to be made to, you know, because this is the devil we're dealing with. So the scripture says we are not ignorant to his devices and he weaponizes life against us. He weaponizes everything you need to work against you. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, what is that? 
Because I said he weaponized everything you need. It's a scripture in, in, in Sirach which, which speaks about uh, let me see uh, what is that scripture? Bear with me for a moment. Uh, I wish I could, uh, what is that? Use a lifeline. Who wants to be a millionaire? Well, the Holy Spirit, the lifeline. But what is that scripture? It says, uh, man, life. It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe it's in the book of Sirach. Uh, here you go. The Wadi Habashim Yahweh. All right. Sirach 39 and 26. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water. The water is defiled. He, he, he straight up defiles the water. All right. He, fl he fluoridates it. Fire, uh, iron, salt. The salt is defiled. You won't see salt. It's so much plastic in the ocean that it's so many parts per million. So you, you, you consume in plastic too. You want uh, pink Himalayan salt. Well, the way that they process it, they don't take the, 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 the toxic... Uh, Metals, the heavy metals out of it. See, flour of wheat. Now we we know the 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 uh, the flour, the the bread been messed up, and bread used to be very 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 healthy. Bread used to be a very healthy thing. It still is if you make it properly, you know, with the right ingredients, you know. But you just buy his bread, the, the, the white bread, Wonder Bread. It's just it's just empty. It's just sugar. Very, very minimum to no nutritional content. All right. Honey. A lot of this honey is fake. Especially the way we uh, uh, a lot of uh, honey coming from China, making it over here because the because the bees are, is messed up. All right. They don't have the, the they've been talking about the bees being messed up for 15, 20 years. Where the ladybugs at? Them orange things ain't ladybugs. Ladybugs are red. Those orange things are Japanese beetles. And you need the ladybugs. Where the ladybugs at? Um, it says uh, milk. Oh, come on. The milk through. Milk been through. Then they come with the supplements. The supplemental milk. Had you drinking almond milk. And, and I everybody, the, the almond milk craze. You come to find out they're using less than 2% almonds. You don't know what, you don't know what, it's, it's all sweet. You don't know what they put in there. Uh, and the blood of the grape, oh, the, the, the wild, uh, the wine is, is, is totally defiled. All right. And nitrates and sulfates and uh, uh, clear bottles. The wine is totally defiled. The, the wine and the grape juice and oil. <laughs> The oil is defiled because uh, not too long ago, uh, I was uh, looking up an article talking about uh, olive oil brands. A lot of these olive oil brands uh, is defiled. It don't be real olive oil. Olive oil is supposed to have an expiration date. All right. And then you're supposed to be using the main oils you're supposed to use is olive, you know, coconut and um Avocado in these times, but these other oils, the main oils that people use, come on, uh, 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 vegetable, canola, sunflower, grape seed, and all. No, nah, that's that's defiled. Don't use that. And clothing, and uh, all this clothing is defiled. The mixing of fabrics, it's been coming out. The 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 mixing of fabrics lowers your vibration. The human vibration is supposed to be at a hundred. A dead body is at fifteen. 
A lot of these clothes bring your vibration down to that of a dead body or even lower than a dead body. So it takes more and more energy to just live. And who's the head of that? Who's, re who's responsible for that? Like, who's responsible for that? Like, you gotta, we gotta, let, let's point the blame. Let's point the finger real quick. The scripture says, shake the hand. So you gotta let people know what they're doing wrong. This is what Esau, Edom, this is why he's the devil. He's turned everyday life against you. Look, this is everyday, the principal things for the whole use of man's life. He weaponized all of that. What is it? Uh, Isaiah. Nineteen. Is it Isaiah nineteen? Isaiah twenty-four. Uh, Isaiah twenty-four and four. The earth mourneth and fadeth the way. The world languisheth and fadeth the way. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And when you languish, you basically just waiting to die. All right? When you hear that word languish, let's let's get it, see what it say. You just going to like like you like you just work this this horrible, it's just like this horrible job. But you can't quit it cuz this the only job. And it's just horrible. Everything about it is horrible. Languish, to be weak, to droop, to, to, to be in a depressed state, to just droop, to be exhausted. The, the world is exhausted. All right, weak. The world is weak, man. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. No, my fault. Verse four, the earth mourned and faded away. The world languished and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. So every, everything is weakened. All right. Isaiah, the, uh, what's that? The 14th chapter, it said, is this the man? Mm, jump over that real quick. That did winking. Uh, uh, Isaiah 14 and 16, it says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee. Yeah, when you brought down, when you, when you, Taken down, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Yeah, bombing everything. That made the world as a wilderness? Yeah, you look at uh, before and after of places that he invaded and bombed. All right? You look at, look at uh, uh, Iraq before and look at Iraq after. Libya before, Libya after. Turning those places into wilderness. All right? And destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. Yeah, uh, this one country, America, got more uh, people in prison than the whole world. All right. This is what I wanted, though. Oh, the, the 12th twelfth, uh, twelfth verse. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Yeah, heaven meaning power, rulership, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Yeah, you weaken the, you weaken the nations, man. And that's one of the main ways you do it is through your food. You go in there and you 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 recalibrate their economy to to siphon their resources and 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 stifle their growth. You know you siphon their resources and you stifle and you uh what is that word? Stifle? Yeah, stifle. And you stifle their growth or you prevent their growth. Whether it's education, whether it's nutrition, and that's what it is: education, nutrition, uh, uh, and uh, medicine, right? So I just want to get that word "weakened" too. Let's see what that say real quick. Which did is weaken the nations. Chalash. To be weak, be prostrate, you prostrate, you make low. To disable? Yeah, look at these other nations, man. Look at these other nations. These, when you look at them, you be like, damn, they got all these resources. They should, they should have this amount of money. They should be worth this. 
They should have access to this because of the value of their natural resources. Nope. But through Esau's interference, Esau Edom's interference, these these nations, these people are disabled. All right. Weakened. So back in uh, Isaiah 24. It says, uh, verse five, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. The whole earth is defiled. Why? Because they have transgressed the laws. And who's the king of transgressing the laws? All right. Change the ordinance. Right. Change the, the, the practices, the customs. All right. What have worked, what have been proven to work for years. All right. Broken the everlasting covenant covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. Yeah, the people are through. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. All right. So you don't just get to do that. Without. Uh, without no recompense or without no. Uh, repercussion. Right. So that's why the scripture in Revelation says. uh Uh, Revelation 11 and 18 And the nations were angry And thy wrath is come And the time of the dead That they should be judged And that thou shouldest give reward Unto thy servants the prophets So the end of the world A lot of things is going to happen Alright The world is not going to be destroyed Like uh, uh, Like the movies show you like the planet blowing up. No, but the end of this age, the translation from one uh, kingdom to another, like the world of the, the world of the Babylonians before the Medo-Persians came. And the Medo-Persians came and, and, and changed that world. All right. Yahweh Shai going to come and change this world, Esau Edom's world. All right. And in that process, he going to what? He going to give reward unto his servants, the prophets, and to the saints, the saints are the children of Israel, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So who destroys the earth? Oh, well, other China do this too. Okay, all right. Uh, Japan do this too. Okay, we'll give you China and Japan. Okay, we'll give you that. But... No one does it the way uh, Esau Edom do it. America, uh, Britain, Russia, Germany, Poland, uh, the, the Western nations. Nobody do it like y'all. And oftentimes the Chinese and the Japanese copying y'all, using y'all technology, learning under, under y'all headship. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the whole free All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem.